just a quick look at the end there warranty void if seal's broken okay we're so going to break into that nothing else to show on there so, does that focus do not do not do not lots of do nots on there don't know what kind of if this has any make or anything to it it just says season on that let's get into the important bit stand voltage wise on this I don't know which is which nothing there 35 volts 35 volts okay charge is good for 42 so I'd expect something about 40 on there okay, the, the customer mentioned that they tried this charger on uh, on a different battery and this charger worked fine on it, so we can probably eliminate that as a problem. It also been in contact with the supplier or manufacturer of this, and they said uh, take it down to take it down to a bike shop or similar. Yeah, they, you, can, you can take that seal off, open up, and they said it's probably something to do with the charge fuse. So let's open up and have a look. So before I take the casing off this one, I'll just plug in the charger and we'll see what happens. Ah, straight to green. Now you'd assume that would be red for charging. So maybe it's some open circuit, which brake and fuse would do. Okay. Let's look for a fuse on the inside. Can you see a fuse? Not yet. Ah. Looks like there's a joint or something down there. Maybe a fuse holder. And it was indeed a fuse holder hiding in there. I haven't opened this up yet, so let's have a look. The wire comes straight from straight from the DC jack input there so I assume uh, this is a charge fuse let's see if it is indeed blown it isn't <laughs> doesn't look blown mm, is that more problems than the customer uh, hoped for Okay, not the charge fuse. So what do we think? That's the BMS. Like four big MOSFETs on there that just controls the discharge probably. It's nice pinched wire on there on assembly. Nothing obvious on there, make sure that charging wires connected to the board I'll check that for continuity etc after I've had a look around I was thinking no oh, there's not much going on on that board until you spin it around now there's a couple of million things going on the back side there <laughs> that's not going to get fixed is it so maybe a replacement board if that seems to be the problem. I'll just do a quick check from the charging port. Like that. Quick continuity test. See if the wires go the way they're supposed to be. 
uh, it's black wire same would be the, the outer pin if I can do that with I can't see anything there maybe I'm not doing it right so let's try the red wire it should be center pin to uh, the red one goes straight onto the okay that's fine let's try the try that black one again Do it on this side. Ah. Should go to that side of the fuse. I'll investigate that. I can't check directly off this. Can't get a bit closer. See all the goop surrounding it there. I'm testing from the just on the lead to the lead into the into the fuse holder. Just a bit quiet. As I know the red makes contact. Nothing it would be like like that. Hmm. Hopefully only be this part. Let's see if, if I've got a new one. So I've had some of this goo glue off this. So I've exposed the steep pause. Get that closer. Make sure get, get my pens out of the way. Same focus on there. Stay focused on there. This red's connected there that's fine it looks like the black wire is just glued near to until i can get inside it properly and get all the rest of this gunk off i won't be able to tell but okay some more careful digging required there we go that's the problem so i've jammed one probe into the fuse holder and the other under against the black wire there it's not making contact as you see just grabbing this wire <laughs> dead giveaway this is a bad contact on the back of this or maybe it's just a okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> we know. Put a new one in there. Yes, and I had a feeling that was the problem. These terminals are devoid of any solder. So that was basically just glued on and just pressing against the terminal. Get in any better focus. I'll take a picture of that, be closer, I think, because this camera doesn't like to focus on anything that's close. Something behind it, there you go. Okay, two clean terminals. There should be solder on it. So that's your problem. And maybe you can just resolder that on instead of using a new one. So I can now solder the wire back onto the original. Solder it on as opposed to gluing it on. Solder blob on this, not stuck to anything. Let's see if that 
that's okay. Oh, that's fine. That's not going anywhere. It's a new heat shrink. I'll put some new heat shrink over there. I'll redo that joint. There's a new heat shrink on it on the positive side. Now I've done the we've done the joints. Before I go any further, I'm going to hook up the charger to it and see what happens. We have red lights, not the green lights. I'm going to see if any current flows in this. I'll use a clamp meter. Okay, so I've down DC range, DC amperage. See that? I can't stretch that any further. 1.9 amps. Just notice as well that the the back nut on this is loose as well. <laughs> See, turning my fingers. So I'll tighten that up as well. I'll just do a quick voltage test on this. Very slow. 36.8 volts. See that? Yeah, so it is going up. Okay. I think I'll stop it charging there so I can put it back, back together and finish off charging in the case. That's it, all nicely back together. Quick voltage check on the output terminals. 36.7 volts and charging. Leave it on for a bit longer. That's been charging for a few hours now. Let's have a look. What we got? 38.8. See that? Yeah, okay. So it's steadily climbing. It's going to take hours. So that is it from me, that's it fixed, um, back to the customer.